Okay, guys, now we are going to do question number 10. So as per question number 10, that is from the unit number one, we need to focus on. Huh? So what are the points given here? Two identical charge balls. So means the charge one and charge two are the same. So value is here. So guys, just write down two identical charges. So the first point is given. What is given? So charge one equals to charge two, which is equals to Q. And here one small mistake, huh? that should be micro. So 25 multiply 10 raised to power negative six coulomb. 25 multiply 10 raised to power negative six coulomb. Two identical charge ball hang from the ceiling by insulated ropes of equal length. So equal length. So it means both the lengths. Huh? L1 is equals to L2. L1 equals L2, which is 1.5 meter. So guys, this is your length. Huh? This is your length. Fine. Okay. Apply uh, a charge 25 micro coulomb is applied to each ball. Then the two balls hang at rest. This is the keyword. This is your keyword. Huh? Hang at rest. What does it mean? If a ball is at rest, it means all the four forces. Just try to understand this point. Huh? Let's say there is a ball and if I'm saying it is at rest, it means all the forces right, left, up and down. All should be at equal level. Huh? So it means we have one tension here. Okay. So what will happen? Angle is given here. Theta. So it means... Wherever you have the theta, it should be T cosine theta. And here you have T sine theta. Downward force is always easy. That is the weight, which is equals to F equals mg. And the leftward, that is your electrostatic force. So what is electrostatic force? Fe should be equals to K times of Q1, Q2 over R square. What is the r here or the distance okay it should be not r square it should be d square okay between the two charges this is your distance d okay guys fine okay we get the rest and now back to the question huh each supporting the rope has an angle okay what we have we have an angle of 25 degree so this is our third given Angle is your 25 degree, okay, with respect to the vertical. With respect to the vertical means along the y axis. Fine. What is the mass? So, what exactly we need to find? We need to find the mass. So, you need to find the mass, okay. So, the four things you need to balance and easily, uh, you can solve it easily, huh? So, four things. So, this is your step one. So balance, balance all the forces, okay? We have four forces. So the first force T sine theta, right word, T sine theta should be equals to Fe, that is K, Q1 and Q2 are same. So Q square divided by D square, fine. This is your equation number one. T cosine theta, which is equals to Mg. Clear guys? Okay, just cancel it huh divide them and cancel it t and t cancel sine divided by cos what you will get tangent theta equals k q square divided by m g d square okay guys now this is your equation number two now this is your equation number three what we need here okay as per the question what exactly we have we have k Okay, just see what exactly the things we have. Okay, we have the value k, which is 9 multiplied 10 raised to power 9. Fine. Q, what we have? 25 micro coulomb means 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb. Okay, then the third thing, what we have? Third thing, we have m. Mass, okay, we need to find out. Okay, G, gravity, we know 9.8. Now, guys, what is the value of D? Because D is not given, but what is given? L is given. L is given. Okay, 
now we can find out the value of d in terms of l okay just take the triangle easy huh very easy take the triangle okay make it half we know this value is d full value so what should be the half value d over 2 and we know here is the given angle and this is your length l okay fine so as per the triangle there are the few things whenever we have the angle that would be your base so this value should be your base let's say a b and c so bc is your base ac is your perpendicular and ab is equals to your hypotenuse so find sine theta we know what is the formula of sine theta we have perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so what is the perpendicular okay d over 2 and what is the hypotenuse l so from this equation can i say d is equals to 2l sine of theta yes guys tell me just check it fast huh is it right or not do you understand this point okay so we have d is equals to 2l sine of theta so can i place an equation number three so this is your equation number four place an equation number three so from here first of all just put the m huh so take the m because we exactly need to find m so can i say m equals to okay k q square divided by g tangent theta d square put the value of d so k q square divided by g tangent theta bracket 2l sine theta whole square because d square okay m is equals to k q square divided by g tangent theta multiply bracket 4 l square sine square theta just put all the values huh? we have k we have q we need to find the m g we have now d what is the value of d in terms of 2 l sine of theta so when you place all the values let's say m equals okay k is 9 multiply 10 raised to power 9 bracket and use the brackets huh don't solve it normally okay q square 25 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 square divide by g is 9.81 bracket tangent 25 degree bracket 4 multiply l is 1.5 square sine 25 square clear guys once you solve it mass is equals to 0 0.768 kg this is your value okay now but what is the major learning of this question major learning is this part this is your formula this is your key formula we are going to use this in the next questions and lots of questions huh? whenever you see the questions a pendulum questions you can use this formula okay let's say i will use the same formula huh? so that you can easily solve lots of questions okay take this question and copy from here no it is not copied okay copy and use it here okay guys now just solve this question huh and it's very easy very very easy huh just focus two balls have the same mass two balls have the same mass okay because there are the three total questions and you can get any one of them so you can easily solve with the help of this question okay in this question mass is given so m1 equal m2 what we have 0 0.9680 kg fine and the same charges okay fine same charges q1 should be equals to q2 so q1 equals q2 which is equals to 29.59 micro coulomb which is equals to 29.59 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb clear guys so till here easy you can understand is there any problem okay next point huh so next point is they hang from the ceiling on the string of identical length 
identical length means l1 should be equals to l2 which is equals to l as shown in the figure if the angle okay angle is given with the vertical you remember i told you vertical means with the y axis with the y axis and horizontal with the x axis what is the length so what we need to find in this question length okay guys theta is given 29.79 degree so guys just can you solve with the help of this diagram uh, with the help of this formula easy huh what we need l square okay rearrange l square equals k q square what i am doing i am taking l square this side and m down k q square divided by m g tangent theta bracket four times of sin square theta yes guys so what we are looking for we are looking for length so make a square root so root k times q square divided by mg tangent theta four times of sine square sine square theta okay so okay put the values l equal root of so we have value of k 9 multiply 10 raised to power 9 which i told you earlier okay charges okay what is the value of charge 29.59 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 square divide by okay m mass is given 0 0.9680 okay gravity is 9.81 tangent what is the angle given 29.79 multiply 4 multiply sine 29.79 square okay guys so now just calculate this fast okay take your time i'm also calculating so once you calculate you will get 1.211 meter clear guys so you have from first equation you have the formula and once you have the formula, you can just need to rearrange the things and finish. Clear, guys? Okay. So, these two questions and actually we have one more question. So, in this also, what we are looking for? Mass. So, you have the formula and this question, I'm just giving you. You will try and you will get the answer. Okay, guys? Take care. Bye.